Good evening, greetings. I'm trying to get some lighting to get. Oh, that's a that's a little bit better. Okay. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Michelle Clay here. I'm going to give people a few minutes to join us for day four of Operation Stress-Free Holiday. Sometimes you have to makeshift your studio. So I'm out with family um, to dinner, and it's so loud in there between the televisions and the radio. So I'm in the car, but that's the thing about living a stress-free life. You don't get stuck on a particular plan that you have you keep it moving and you adapt be flexible so greetings everyone this is dr. Michelle Clay founder and visionary of free life 7 checking in for day 4 of operation stress-free holiday so make sure that you let me know where you are tuning in from even if um, you're a replay viewer and thank you to my live viewers and my replay viewers and also make sure that you share with others that may be experiencing increased stress during this week when a lot is going on and they need these tips so for a quick recap oh it says my signal is weak I'm in this little country town y'all so bear with me okay so um so day one, we talked about showing kindness. When you show kindness to people, then they show you kindness back. And sometimes even when we have a plan, if you're just patient, everything always works out the way it should. Hey, sister. Hey, Carrie. I see you. Thank you for the love, sister. Uh, day two, we discussed. What did we discuss, y'all? Oh, my mind. Help me out. Okay, last night was day three, and I remember last night was um, Release Recharge Tea. It has it contains rosemary and rose hips, which are excellent items for stress relief and stress management. Why can't I remember day two? That's all right, but moving on. Um, hey, Carrie, moving on. So today, tip for having a stress-free holiday. It's a topic that some people feel embarrassed to discuss, but everybody does it and you need to do it. And that is regularity, meaning your bowel habits. So what happens when we um, are experiencing a lot of stress? There's something called the gut-brain axis. So if you are experiencing um, increased turmoil, stress, anxiety in your life, then you also mm -hmm. may experience differences in your bowel habits whether it's diarrhea or constipation most people when they're stressed your stomach tightens up and even though you feel those little butterfly type things in your stomach that's also happening on an internal level so that your bowel function is not normal it's everything isn't moving and flowing properly so the tip that I have incorporated on this long whirlwind trip are dried apricots now the best thing about dried apricots is you should get the organic ones so they will be a brown color as opposed to the yellow color what may what helps the dried apricots maintain their yellow color is they add sulfites and that's not a good thing that we we want to incorporate into our diets finding dried apricots is so simple a lot of just your regular local grocery store um, will have it in the bulk section and therefore it comes out more economical because you're not paying for packaging and then you can have as many as you want now for my ladies out there a lot of women especially in the african-american community experience uterine fibroids with uterine fibroids you have increased bleeding and a lot of african-american women have issues with anemia so not only will dried apricots help with your digestive health but they are an excellent source of iron so for those of you who have experienced anemia and have been on iron supplements you know that that will constipate you even more 
So dried apricots are is the tip for day four of Operation Stress-Free Holiday. You're getting your fiber and you're getting a good source of um, iron, which is it's very important to be regular. A lot of times, some people, when they're traveling, their bowel habits are different because they don't feel as comfortable um, going in different places to the restroom. But for the people who are out there that say that their normal is once or twice a week, do you only eat once or twice a week? Okay, do you, do you eat every day? Okay, do you eat more than one time every day? So, as it goes in, it should come out. So, are there any questions? If so, please ask, and I will be more than happy to answer your questions and just let me know where you are checking in from. And I hope that this is helpful for you because tomorrow is Wednesday, the big push. We're getting even closer to Big Turkey Day. So any little tip that can help mitigating stress and getting through this holiday season with as much love and peace as possible is always a plus. Hey, Dr. Dre. Hey, Renee. Thanks for tuning in. So thank you everyone for joining me and also for the replay viewers. Once again, I am Dr. Michelle Clay, founder and visionary of Free Life 7, a life and wellness enhancing company. Thank you, Jesse. I'm glad that this was something that was needed. And um, please incorporate this tip. Oh, there's one thing that I forgot to mention. Dried apricots taste delicious, but you need to ration how much you eat at a time because otherwise it could be explosive so i usually limit to three or four a day for people who have um a little bit more trouble with their bowel habits i would say five maximum okay five maximum but start off slow see how your digestive tract can handle it and then increase from there but I would not I would not go over five okay okay thank you Jesse I'm glad this was helpful for you I miss you I enjoyed your um, your pictures from Puerto Rico so much you look so relaxed and orange is your color okay that is your color <laughs> so closing out once again, I am Dr. Michelle Clay, founder and visionary of Free Life 7, a life and wellness enhancing company, giving you tools and strategies to release stress, release that burned out tense feeling, and find your happiness and enjoy life again. Follow me on Twitter at Dr. Michelle Clay. Follow me on Instagram at Dr. Michelle Clay. And of course, you can go to my website at www.freelife, the number 7le.com. Oh my goodness. I told you we having a makeshift studio. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, so anyway, um, until tomorrow, I will post what time that we will start tomorrow. Um, was that Courtney? Hey, Courtney, I thought about you the other day. How you doing? Happy holidays to you. Join me tomorrow for um, Wednesday's tip, day five tip for Operation Stress-Free Holiday. So until then... Have a beautiful evening, a stress-free evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.